All right, all right. What is going on, my friends? Misha Wilson here, coming at you on another beautiful afternoon from the sunny island of Maui, Hawaii. And hey, in today's video, I wanted to actually go ahead and translate a lesson that I didn't necessarily get taught directly from my mentor, but I was going through one of my mentor, Dagan Smith's email marketing course four nights ago, and he shared a metaphorical kind of way to view your email list and it was completely and totally spot on. And I feel like it'll go ahead and help a lot of people if I share that lesson in today's video. So one of the biggest things that I hear from people over and over and over again when I first start working with them is that they might have generated a few leads, they might have built their first you know, seed list of a thousand people or a hundred people, et cetera, but they're not seeing the type of sales and responsiveness that they'd really like to see or expected to see from their email marketing and just kind of list building efforts, right? And Dagan covered this in the Idiot Proof email copy course that I was going through a couple nights ago. And the metaphor he used in regards to how you view your list was completely and totally spot on. And what he talked about more or less was viewing your email list like an atom, right? So an atom is this thing that has protons, neutrons, and then a nucleus at the very center of the core of it, right? And it's this maybe it's this size, but the nucleus is just the tiny little centerpiece that is also the most charged piece of the atom, right? And that's exactly how your email list is. You need to realize that if you're going ahead and implementing strategic email marketing, if you're using the attractive character in your email marketing, which you should be, if you're not, start studying the attractive character, start studying how to go ahead and build your persona, start studying how to influence your email list, but if you're doing those things, and if you're consistently sharing value, if you're consistently sharing content, if you're consistently entertaining your list, if you're consistently going ahead and telling your list who you are and what you stand for and what you stand against, et cetera, the majority of your list is not going to resonate with you. The majority of your list, that atom metaphor, is not going to go ahead and resonate with your message. But at the core of your email list is just like an atom, that nucleus, where maybe 1%, 10%, et cetera, of your email list, the better of an email marketer you are, and the more you know your marketplace, then the more that you know how to really communicate with the prospects on your email list, the higher the percentage will be, right? But the point is a very small percentage of the people on your email list will become true fans and will really resonate with who you are, what your message is, what you stand for, what you stand against, et cetera. And those are the people who will buy from you over and over and over again. So instead of kind of having some sort of, you know, unrealistic expectation or just an expectation kind of based off of theory of what you think should be reality when you have no real quantifiable data to go ahead and back up that theory, realize that the majority of your leads won't buy anything from you. The majority of your leads won't go ahead and make a buying decision, won't invest in one of your products, won't resonate with your message, and you'll never end up helping them through going ahead and selling you, selling them their products, your products or services, excuse me. But it's that small little nucleus, the 10% of your leads that resonate with who you are, what your message is, what you're all about, and what you're trying to do in the marketplace in a positive manner that will buy your products and will buy your products over and over and over again, and who will end up giving you tens of thousands of dollars if you keep going ahead and promoting different products and services of ascending monetary value, repeat sales, residual sales, et cetera. It's that small little nucleus who resonate with who you are and what your message is that counts in your email marketing. And your primary kind of job as an email marketer is to firstly, always be building your list, and secondly, always be emailing your list so that small little nucleus has consistent and constant attention from you on a daily basis so they don't go ahead and kind of forget about you and just kind of lose you in the sea of sameness that the internet is. That kind of sounded cool, didn't it? The sea of sameness. But anyway, guys, that's my message for the day. I hope you got a ton of value out of this video as always. If you did, leave me a quick comment down below in this blog post. Share on social media if you feel like you should. And if you're struggling to generate traffic and leads, as always, go ahead, download my free report, The Five Pillars of Profitable Business Building Traffic, where I show you exactly how I generate 75 to 100 leads every single day for my own personal business, and not only how I generate those leads, but the systems that I use in my business in order to be profitable in doing so. You can download that report at nishawilson.com. So once again, I hope you got a ton of value, and I will speak with you very soon.